Hi, Trukbe. Welcome to Alify Minutes. Hey, Emiliano. Nice to see you. Trukbe, your company launched last year a vertical PV system for rooftop applications. How is your business going? We've been operating uh, kind of on a pre-commercial level with some small test installations in different sites, uh, a couple of, or quite a few in Norway, but also now coming up in different places in Europe. Uh, and we see it's, it's generating a lot of interest. Uh, we're approaching um, now our first commercial sales next year. Um, so it will be exciting to see uh, in, the, in the next year and the coming, coming time. Is it a product that can be used only at high latitudes with low level of solar radiation? Um, we, we think that uh, for high albedo roofs, for uh, roofs with high reflectivity, it can also be interesting for, uh, for the lower latitudes for the south. And there are other, also other reasons, uh, for example, soiling losses are lower with vertical solar panels compared to like flattish uh, solar panels. Um, so there are reasons we believe it's not only for the northern latitudes, but obviously uh, the northern latitudes, um, there's a benefit of the, the low angle of the sun. And uh, so we get higher yields uh, on the, in the northern latitudes. The vertical system you created is a bit more expensive than conventional rooftop PV systems. Do you see demand for this product? Now we see that uh, there's a lot of opportunities that arise with the vertical uh, bifacial solar panels for rooftop, uh, and in some some like say niches, they run very small niches. Uh, it's it, there's a lot of interest. Uh, we see especially now in combination with green rooftops um, because we our system is also very fast and easy to deploy on uh, green rooftops and and the plants and the green roof below can thrive uh, almost without any interruption from the solar panels so uh, so that's a market where we already see uh, that we're quite competitive uh, but also for uh, private houses uh, small rooftops where the conventional systems for flat rooftop installation are kind of cumbersome and, and demands a lot of time uh, compared to the cost of the installation itself. Do you think this new segment may remain a niche? I think that uh, vertical uh, by fish and PV can also be an interesting uh, solution for mainstream roofs with time, uh, but we are still in the very early days. And why did your company choose the heterojunction technology? Mm, because it has the highest bifaciality. Um, Perk cells on the market now can get up to 80%. Heterojunction uh, gets uh, over 90% and probably up to maybe 95% in the future. Uh, and of course, the, the extra percentage that came from the backside of the solar panel are very important for vertical, vertical solar installations compared to uh, panels that have less insulation on the backside. Why the solar panels used in this vertical PV system are smaller than conventional panels? Uh, there are several reasons. Uh, one is just the, the aesthetical uh, that it like huge standing solar panels on a rooftop would be a problem uh, from an architectural point of view, and it would have a big impact on on the visual appearance of the building. Many areas, in especially in urban areas, you you have a limited building height. You cannot build higher than that. Uh, but there is also the the effect of the wind uh, loads uh, that is highly reduced when we use low small solar panels. I'm sure that many of our readers would like to know the system price. Uh, well, it's hard to say exactly the price, but we, we when we know the, the, the look, on, we look at the, the price of the complete installation. Um, we see that on, on projects where there is a green roof, uh, where the conventional systems are also kind of um, complicated to mount. Uh, there we are already reaching competitivity and we, we are selling commercially in the market for next year. Um, also for smaller installations, as I said, but when it comes to like huge buildings uh, or like logistics buildings, factories, uh, we see that the, the conventional solutions uh, are still very efficient for those kind of installations and we are not competitive on that uh, level quite yet. And what market share this new segment may reach in the future? Uh, we hope uh, that we will take an important part uh, in that. Um, so um, 
Yeah, I think there are, there are many benefits from vertical PV also for building uh, mounting. I, like, for example, I haven't talked about the, the energy generation profile. You get more energy in the morning and the evening rather than in the middle of the day. Uh, so you avoid this price cannibalization uh, in the middle of the day and you can have more um, self-consumption rather than just exporting the solar electricity to the grid. So definitely, I think we will see uh, the market share for vertical PV uh, growing in the future. Thank you for your five minutes, Trugve. Thank you, Emiliano.